Hello again and welcome to my channel. First of all, if you'll find this video useful in any way or you'll get some benefit from watching it, please like, subscribe and leave feedback. Uh, that way the YouTube algorithm will allow more people to benefit from this content. I've been using Snapgene Viewer for some time now and I would highly recommend it. It's totally free and you can view, edit and share all kinds of DNA files with it. So this is how you download it. This will take you to their website in which you can uh, insert your email address, click download and after that, you're going to have to choose whether you want to download the version for macOS or for Windows. The next thing um, I'll do right now is open up AdGene. In order to download some uh, DNA that we can work with. Let's say, for example, that I want to, uh, to search for a plasmid right here. Let's call it PCAS. This would be a CRISPR plasmid. So this is the one. I'm going to go click on it, view all sequences, and then I can do download the sequence for SnapGene. Let me open it with Snapgene Viewer. Okay, so this is our plasmid map right here. But let's say I want to edit it a bit, you know, make it a bit prettier. And um, of course, make it more suitable to my needs. Let's say I just want to change the colors right here for a bit. What I can do right now is I don't know, let's just say I want to remove this feature. Remove this one. This will not delete your DNA, rather it will just erase your feature. Or I can of course hide them if I want. Let's say I want to change this color a bit. I want to make it yellow. Make this one, for example, bright blue. I want to delete this from here, this one from here, make these ones white, or even make them colorless. If I find this suitable. Another thing I can do right here is maybe I don't want uh, all of these enzymes to show on my plasmid map. Let's say, for example, that I want to see just BAMH1 and, I don't know, this one, for example. I can do this by just going to Enzymes, Hide All Enzymes, can choose BAMH1, r one as you can see, these are the only plasmids that remain here, uh, enzymes that remain here. I can just highlight them if I want to. Maybe I want to remove the primers from my plasmid map. I can do this from right here. Just hide them. I can also change the name. Let's say presentation maybe. And of course, what I'll need to do next is change the font of this of the text because uh, once you present it in a PowerPoint or something like that, this will be very, very difficult to see. So I can do that by going into View, Font Size, and choose, for example, the biggest font size available. Now, let's say, for example, that this is my Plaspin map right here. I can either do a print screen 
but better yet I can go into file export and just export the plasmid map I can choose to export it as a PNG JPEG PDF and so on let's say I want to export it as a PNG to desktop and now I can se select whether I want a white or transparent background and I can even select the resolution from here so I'm just gonna click export close this window right here and this is the plasmid map right here that I can use so basically this was just an example of course you can play with it and uh, do whatever you want